this week on 3D Archery, I'm going to take my knockabock. I'm going to take it to the next level. Everybody, welcome to 3D Archery. Greg here. All right, it is the third day of fall here in Louisiana, and it is a comfortable 95 degrees out. All right, so you've seen it. This is my first one, my proof of concept, my knock a block. You shoot it, falls over. But then somebody said, Hey, Greg, use a spring hinge, and it'll pop, pop back up. That's what I did. But then, working great, I put these out. And I heard somebody make a comment. Well, this is like shooting a target. But, you know, you can't please everybody. But it got me thinking. Why do I got to use a square? Why can't I use something else? And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to take this little guy, try to put him on a piece of foam. I got some challenges I got to overcome, which we'll talk about as we go along. All right, so up first, I'm going to disassemble this. Then we're going to cut it, try to paint it, and then finally test it. The first thing I when I have my proof of concept, I just bought this 2x4, two sections of it, and put it together. And the reason I did that was I could get the 2x4 for like two bucks. Now, if you're not from Louisiana, it rains and it rains a lot. So, I went from that to pressure treated and coated fence posting. I think that'll last longer. Ooh. Oh, that's right, I drove it in it. Okay, but we'll knock it out in a minute. All right, there's that. Now I just gotta take this apart. On the first one here, as you can see, I just used wires, you know, and it's good, but then somebody suggested, one of the reasons I love YouTube, threaded rods. Works even better. Now, I don't have to be doing this if I ever got to replace it. Spare door hinge. Oh well. find a way to take this and simply glue it on there that would be awesome wouldn't it but the problem is rain which it does almost every day here it's just gonna run I can't seal it it's still gonna run but if I could find a way to take this and transfer this onto here I mean come on now that would be one awesome target so what I'm going to try to do is paint it. Now I've done painting on it before. I use spray paint and when you hit it, it chips and you get spots on it and it 
after a while it's back to being white. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to sand it because this is very, looks like they coated it. So I'm going to try to sand it, make it rough to give the paint something to adhere to. And we'll see how that works. If that doesn't work, well then back to the drawing table. Or we could just shoot an arctic uh, squirrel. Whatever. Alright, so let's see if we can paint this baby. Alright, so the first one I'm going to try is spray paint. Alright everybody, there's my Mark III's. Now you've probably seen with my possum here. You know, most of them I built like this. But I built the possum like this. And the reason I did it was some people don't like to shoot at targets a little higher up because they're afraid they miss or arrows are going to fly and ricochet on it. So this lowers it down, gets it to more like a little more realistic height. And the other thing I wanted to point out to you is you've probably seen the difference between this one and the squirrel, how fast they spring back. That's because this little uh, metal peg right here is adjustable. When you put it in, if you have this up here, 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 that dictates how much spring back you're going to have. So that's a pretty cool one. Now this will fall out, so I always take a little bit of Gorilla Tape and put it over it just to secure it in. But there you have it. You know what? I love these. I am really into these. They're interactive. They're cheap fun, creative, and you can just, they're, they're just cool, all right? All right, everybody, you know the deal. There's the website. I am constantly updating, adding more states, more clubs, more shoots, more everything, all right? So if you can, please check it out. I'm trying to build it to be the best resource for 3D archery around. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.
with an all-new episode of 3D Archery.